The barges are looking festive. Look at all of them chickens, oh my gosh. There was a little boy that literally jumped out of the rat mobile. He did not want to go on the rat ride. It's not good, but it, it tastes like what Pirates of the Caribbean smells like. I am not upset that Happily Ever After got replaced now because this is good. The Epcot ball is so bright right now. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I am going to Epcot with Donnie, and we have a couple of fun things planned. First of all, we are going to watch Harmonious for the first time. I've heard previews of some of the music, and it sounds amazing. I know for a fact it will not be a disappointment, like our bestie over at Magic Kingdom. We're not going to talk about that today, but that's okay. I'm with Donnie now. Woo! We also are going to be so... <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> We're also going to be celebrating the 50th in Epcot for the time being because Magic Kingdom is still not letting us in. Epcot and they have all of the Remy merch out here, which is super duper exciting. Look at these pins. So they have the opening day pin for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and they also have this really cute one. I'm not really sure which one I want to get, but I definitely want to get one of them. They also don't have the Spaceship Earth ears out yet. They're completely sold out. Not sure if they're ever going to come back, but fingers crossed that they do because I also want those. The barges are looking festive. They're still not the prettiest thing in the world, but you know, they've come a long way. If you guys remember from my vlogs back in like March, this thing just went up and all of us were like, what the heck is that? But now look at it. I thought it said it was supposed to be a fountain during the day, but currently there's no water shooting out of it. So maybe they're still working on that. I'm not sure. Our first ride of the day is frozen Woo! the lightning lane is there if you guys don't know what the lightning lane is it's like a paid fast pass before we used to be able to get fast passes for free but now we have to pay and that's why we're a little bit salty just a little bit on the rat ride. This is my first time going on it after my cast preview, so I'm excited to see everything open. It's busy back here. It's like crazy to see it this busy because like I said, cast preview was the only time I've been back here. Look at all of them chickens, oh my gosh. for the rat ride. Look at all these people. This is a long line. But you know, I would get out if I could. We're doing it for the rat. And even though the line looks super long back there, it only took us 25 minutes to get on. So that was super quick. And the ride is just so cute. I totally recommend it. Just know that if you get the virtual queue, it's not going to be like Rise of the Resistance where you kind of just walk on. You do have to wait in line for a little bit, but given how long it looks, it was only 25, 30 minutes at most. So it's worth it i would say go on it when we were getting on the ride there was a little boy that literally jumped out of the rat mobile he took a big leap he did not want to go on the rat ride we are in line to get a crepe and i'm so excited because last time when it was the cast member preview i was not able to get one because it was just closed both times i was here which one are we gonna get we're gonna get a sweet one hopefully they have like nutella and strawberries here's the beautiful crepe we're sharing this is the hazelnut and chocolate one i got a frozen coke from canada always a 10 out of 10. 
This is honestly another reason why Canada is the best pavilion. And the maple popcorn. I think I have a third degree burn. Donnie burnt her hand on a cup it? of noodles. I made my cup of noodles in the microwave, took it out of the microwave, just spilled it all over my hand. Who we found. He left break for us. He's not happy to be here. Donnie and I just did another lap around the world showcase, and now we're just staring at birds. Look at how chunky these ducks are. We're also talking about Enneagram tests. Can you guys guess what number Enneagram we are? I'm a three. I'm a nine. Did you guess right? <laughs> Comment down below. Brazil is open, and we got the cheese bread. It looks good. I love cheese, and I love bread. So I'll let you know how it is. Ate some of the cheese bread. It's so good, 10 out of 10 for me. How about you? I'd say like a seven out of 10. If you get the bread, just know that the texture of it is not like normal bread. It's kind of like chewy. So if you're a texture kind of person, then you're gonna be like, whoa, what am I eating? But I totally recommend it if you're not a picky eater and you like cheese and you like bread. We're back in Creations looking at the Ratatouille merchandise because for some reason, the normal area where it's at, which is closer to the ride itself, was not open. I need the shirt, guys. Here's the front. There's the back. Oh my gosh, look at these little ornaments. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> now we're going into Club Pool. There's a little bit of a line, but I'm really excited to go in because I haven't seen the new one yet and I also want to try so many of the sodas in there. person yes <laughs> you can ask me how many times she's had diet coke in one week i can't tell you a number i'm a coke person look at the wall of sodas behind us Woo! we're gonna try them donnie's really hyping up the china one to be the worst it's horrible so i can't wait to see what it's like joseph said it tastes like what pirates of the caribbean smells like where is the diet coke merch yeah. All right, so here we are. The cast member at the front told me that her favorite was the cucumber one. So I think I kind of want to try that. I don't like it. I don't know if I like that. Can you please try China? Next, we're trying China. This is Donnie's least favorite one. It does smell like Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. You don't like it either? No. Oh, yeah. no. Okay, Joseph, if you're watching this, I totally agree with you. I need a Snapchat Joe. It's not good, but it's, it tastes like what Pirates of the Caribbean smells like. So I'm trying the Beverly. This one is infamous for not being great, but I know Donnie likes it. I love the Beverly. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Everyone doesn't like the aftertaste. Yeah, the aftertaste is bitter, but it's like, it kind of tastes like a sweet tart at first. No. And then there's the aftertaste. Right, my actual favorite one. Hannah's like in the back just dying. I feel like my top two were Madagascar and Korea. So here's a little pan of them once again so you can see. So Beverly, good. Good, good, good. Eh, bad. Not good, not good. So the first half was good. That's the second half. Second half. Not good. All right, guys, we just left Club Cool. It was a good time. I feel sick because I just drank so much soda. Sorry. Test track! <laughs> <laughs> so our third ride of the day is Test Track. Test Track. Hannah's not a fan of Test Track. I'll give my honest opinion. I feel like it's not gonna stop sometimes at the end and that's what freaks me out. test track we literally had the time of our life and Donnie's car won but right now we are heading to dinner so we're having an early dinner at nine dragons and I'm very excited because I've never eaten there before oh my gosh we ran into magic with mayor she said I could take a selfie with her <laughs> It 
it's doing something. Oh my god, it literally stopped. I swear it was doing something two seconds ago. Remember how earlier I said it was supposed to be a fountain? Well, it was just a fountain for a second. And now it's not again. I wasn't lying. It's doing something. I can't say it's the prettiest thing ever, but I guess it's a fountain. took the friendship boat over from Morocco. We will be camping for Harmonious for the next three and a half hours. Here's our spot. It's a pretty good one, not gonna lie. And there's not gonna be people up in this area. This is also my first time ever seeing Harmonious, so I'm very excited. Everyone's hyping it up so much for good reason. It is my new happily ever after. That's okay. Happy. Honestly, I believe it. I hope it makes me cry because enchantment, uh, I don't think it's gonna make me cry. It probably won't make you cry, but it will give you the feels. Okay, that, you know, that's better than nothing. We're still camping. We still have two hours and 15 minutes left. I'm just laying here on the ground in Epcot. 30 more minutes! Oh is it going? The music before the fireworks is the best part. Yeah! You hear this? Woo! It's a party! Five more minutes! Oh my god! All around us, the world is alive with music. Voices calling out in search of one another. We find each other in song. the things that it just did. How did you feel, Sav? It was her first time, I'm too. I'm so emotional. I work fireworks at Magic Kingdom, and like, enchantment is horrible. This is beautiful. Like, I almost cried like four times. Tanya, how about you? How do you feel? Aww. This isn't her first time, but. So, the Coco Park representation from Mexico. I love that. Like, goosebumps everywhere. Like, my favorite part was the beginning, because it had Moana and Go the Distance, and those two are like my favorite, and my jaw just dropped to the ground. If you were to come to the parks and watch a nighttime show, 100% choose Epcot over Magic Kingdom. And I think I'm gonna say it, I am not upset that Happily Ever After got replaced now, because this is good. The blow of Happily Ever After leaving is lessened. The Epcot ball is so bright right now. No filter, just the Epcot ball. Oh my gosh. Bye Epcot ball. It's a little bit later and I am back home now. I'm still mind blown about Harmonious. Like honestly, that was one of the best nighttime shows I've ever seen. Currently, I would say it's my favorite nighttime show. So that's really awesome. When they bring back Fantasmic though, that might be a different story. But yeah, so I just wanna say thank you guys so much for joining us on this super fun day at the parks. I feel like I haven't gone to the parks in so long, so it was really nice to finally be able to go again and have such an amazing day. But yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> I don't know how to turn it on.